Okay, it's going to be a bit like a school lesson today, I'm afraid, but I'm going to try and explain a, a bit, as far as I understand it, the history of headlight technology. So we're going to use this sort of generic 7-inch round headlight as an example. So there was actually an earlier one, but um, let's start with this one. This is the Lucas um, pre-focus type headlight. So you see you've got a metal reflector there glass lens and here's the bulb it's a dual filament bulb so these are all these we're looking at are high and low beam headlights so dual function headlights um, that was the bulb that's the connection on the back they were fairly uh, low power sort of an affair the bulb went in like so um, you had the earth around the outside and you've got the high and low beam connectors and and they were okay the beam pattern was set by the lens you've got a parabolic reflector that produced a straight beam of light angled by the lens pretty uh, pretty basic right then they came along with what they called the sealed beam headlight now this was a revolution and it wasn't a bad headlight really so it, th there's nothing serviceable in here if the elements inside blue you have to change the whole lot but it, I quite liked it because it was all made from glass as you can see with a, a chromed rear reflector uh, and they didn't rust um, but the light output was was limited and there's a couple of reasons for that but this is where they started to use this sort of format of the connector you can see here which is these three pins all at 90 degrees to each other forming this u-shape connection so that was what we called a sealed beam okay right. then we went on to the halogen headlight now this basically wasn't sealed so you could actually we've got a little blank in this one you could actually there's various mechanisms this whoa you could actually put in um, and change the bulb okay so rather than having to throw the whole lot away you could change the bulb again you can see they've improved the uh, reflector design here um, now because the bulb was separate what they could do was they could start to use different gases inside this much smaller area where the filaments are because in this design the, the filaments in the middle of the whole mass of air and they could start using different gases which would mean the filaments would glow brighter so it's a, a mixture of the filament material and the gas that surrounds it so that is the first of the the halogen type headlights okay now we go on to this now the, the, this is a halogen it uses the same bulb you can fit at the back but what you'll notice here is here the reflector has got a multi-complex pattern uh, on here if you could take the glass lens off you'd see it would just be a, a sort of smooth ball um, so here sorry let's start on this one so on this one you get a parabolic light pattern and then all these patterns in the lens would direct each of the light and it was a fairly ineffective way of, of directing the light in this one the light radiates out and each of these little shapes is a complex mirror and it points the light directly exactly where it's needed on the road and it's about 25 percent more efficient in terms of the light getting where you want it than the previous design for the same bulb okay so that's a halogen multi reflector type design and then we come right up to date now and this is the full led headlight so you've got a series of leds behind some lenses in here and we can actually look at this now the interesting to note is now these are wired and these the wiring connections again replicate the h4 bulb which is actually a replicator of the early sealed beam so they're all fully interchangeable from a wiring perspective and if i'll just show you a bit of the construction of these new led headlights so you've got a polycarbonate lens with an anti-scratch coating okay and then inside you've got a this is a reflector this one's got a 80 leds to form an angel eye or a side light around the outside and then inside you've got some complex electronics um, and you can see some pretty big lenses here and there they're controlling the light output and this is very efficient so not only is the light going in the right place it's a very you can control the what they call color temperature of the light so how white or blue or yellow the light is and also for the amount of electricity consumed more electricity is going into creating the light than it is into heat which happens with the halogen type bulb so this is the latest generation of headlight so i hope that gives you some background into the different headlights available